Hey YouTube, my name is Badfish and this is Gone Gaming. Welcome back to the beautiful city of San Pedro. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the city of San Pedro. It is my current ongoing realistic city skylines playthrough. Definitely leave a like down below if you end up liking this video. And uh, certainly if you're new to my channel, check out my uh, other stuff. I have a lot of cool builds. But today, guys, what we're going to be doing is a fun little build to end out the week for you. So we are going to be building a pier slash waterfront beach shopping amusement park all the, all the nines we're gonna go we're gonna go real hard on this episode you kind of saw a little teaser of it in the beginning opening credits so we're gonna build out this entire side basically and make a really cool uh waterfront so in the last episode when i made that research center i had said i wanted a cool skyline for this uh coastal town but i didn't want to use buildings right i didn't want to use skyscrapers because it's not that big of a town it's a tourist town but i wanted it to be more about like the actual attractions like why you'd want to go here so an amusement park is something that my fiance really wanted me to make for her um i was gonna make another power plant because we do need some power but she really wanted me to go ahead and do this amusement park so I went ahead with that. I wanted to do a cool little pier too. I think that's a little bit different in City Skylines having that little pier wrap around things. I think it just looks nice having that little lifted walkway. People will actually use it too, which is cool. And then um, those different commercial pieces you saw me put down, those are all like very high end, like Dolce Gabbana, Versace, stuff like that. So I'm really trying to, to lean into that, you know, very fancy, uh, very, high class kind of town tourist town so just wrapping around the uh pier just a little bit more and then we're gonna start building out our amusement park here a little bit so we are working in a very cramped space with the amusement park as you can tell it's this little area right here and then i do expand it to a second little block in just a second um but as far as the amusement park goes i mean it is you gotta cram stuff in there. Um, at one point, I did have a roller coaster. You see me put it down there. That's gonna be gone in about two seconds because it just took up too much space. It didn't work. The, my thought process is this is like a little amusement park. It's not like a, a Six Flags or something that people would travel to from far away. It's more just like, oh, this is like on the pier. It's the little amusement park that people go to when they're you know out on the beach or stuff like that. It's just part of the attraction of the town. It's not like the attraction. So just adding a couple different rides, not making it too huge, adding some games and stuff, keeping it pretty simple. I'm just using the stuff from uh, the Park Life stuff, DLC, so I'm not doing anything special with those. There is some clipping there. Again, that's just a product of working in such a small space. Sometimes you just got to be okay with that. And you also got to remind yourself that 90% of this time that you play this game, you're scrolled out to some degree, so it's okay. Uh, but even like just the the parking takes up a ton of space so uh, like the the gates so it ends up looking good I really like the way it plays with the skyline and it plays with the background of everything and um, with the beach certainly as well so I like it as a cool little addition I like having it front and center and I like having it on the water a lot of amusement parks are built on the water um, you know, a lot of places around lakes or oceans will have their amusement parks right on the pier. Uh, it's funny, I kind of took inspiration to, well, not inspiration in a design sense, but more of an idea sense from Bob's Burgers with uh, whatever, uh, the wharf, I think it's just called the wharf, uh, Wonder Wharf, there it is. So with Wonder Wharf, I took a lot of inspiration there and uh, put this down because I wanted, I wanted a nice pier, a nice pier, uh, amusement park for some weird eccentric dude to own and operate because that's the people that own small pier amusement parks they're all like mr fish odor so just going through and adding in some fences now and fencing everything in um i tried to actually separate the pier from the amusement park because obviously you don't want just people going into your amusement park you want them to pay at the gate so I just have the pier going around it with the gates kind of going around it or the fences going around it too. So it's more just like the pier is just for you to walk through by the amusement park, go over to the shopping. And then, you know, if you see the amusement park, you're like, oh, that looks like a fun time. Let's go there. Then you go there. That's the idea. 
and uh, just making sure everything kind of stays flush. It was kind of a pain in the butt to keep everything from clipping as far as the fences and the pier and stuff, but I think we ended up doing pretty good. And then I'm gonna start going through on the pier and adding in these planters. And then on these planters, I am going to pop in some tall California style palm trees I got off the workshop. They are absolutely massive and I definitely used too many of them in this uh, time lapse. So I actually went through off camera and deleted some out. There was another reason I did that. When you scroll out, they uh, don't stay rendered for very long and uh, it just doesn't work well for cinematics or screenshots or anything because they'll turn into these kind of like green, brown, amorphous blobs, which isn't the best look for anybody. So we're just kind of finishing up that space and now I want to move over to this side and add a little bit more to the waterfront. So like I said, I wanted this to be a big tourist area. So what we're going to do is start adding in some hotels. I grabbed a couple of different hotels and a casino and a couple of marinas off of the workshop. So I really wanted this area to be focused in on that aspect is having like the hotels and the places for people to stay and tourists to go to. Eventually, we're going to connect this town through with like our light rail system and our metro and things like that. But for now, um, we don't have that. So I'm just trying to make the road network pretty robust as well and have some good parking um, around these areas, too. So I do put some parking lots in. I actually ended up cutting me making the parking lot because it took forever to get it to work with the way uh, the terrain is. But you'll see it pop in right in that little area between the marina and this other space right here. Um, so like I said, just adding a couple more hotels and things like that just to make the space a little more interesting and um, have a little bit more detail as far as like the buildings themselves. And you know, like I said, I'm not really supposed to have a skyline in this place, uh, in this town, because it is smaller. So a lot of these hotels, they're not giant. Like I'm not using the, the really massive ones that I used on my casino island or the really massive ones I used um, in my city parts that I've already built out. Just kind of these like mid rise, pretty simple ones. The last one I put in is a little big, but I thought it just looked real nice. It was a Hilton and I just thought it was cool with its the way it was decorated and stuff. So we left it on the corner there. And um, now we're just gonna go through and put in some more high class shopping. So basically the same thing I did on that other side, I'm going to bring over here to kind of marry the theme between the two sides as well. And uh, I think it looks nice. I just think having that like high class shopping makes it really kind of hammer home that this is like a fancy pants area. And obviously if it's a fancy pants area, you need some bougie Panera bread, AKA Panera bread's delicious, eat Panera bread. This is an, this is an elaborate ad for Panera bread. That's all this video is. Um, so going through and adding in again those planters in the trees just popping them in real quick Again, a lot of these are going to get changed over to different kinds of palm trees that are a little bit smaller um, But I do like the way the tall ones look they are fun. I wish they didn't pop so much when um, You scroll out But they do look fun up close. So now we're gonna go ahead and tackle our little uh, dockyard, or not dockyard, our little pier for the marina. So I wanted to go through and add in some different boats. So since my episode with the uh, you know more public commercial harbor, I've added a few more boats to my repertoire. So I did get some sailboats that actually have the sails down to make it a little more realistic and added some speed boats and you know little dinghies and things like that just to add some variety to my marinas. Uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I do think it, it turns out good. And I wanted, you know, this to just be, you know, very public craft, very leisure craft. So I'm not putting a ton of like fishing boats or anything over here. It's all just more private use craft. I do put a couple of fishing boats just out in the water. That was just because I wanted more filler. I, you know, I get impatient. I'm sorry. I wanted more things. So um, I had to keep changing the fishing line too because the fishing boats were just like ramming through everything. They were like, hello, here I am. And I was like, here you are, but don't go here ever again. So there you go. You just saw one ram through stuff as I'm talking about it. How rude, how rude these fishing boats are. So we're just finishing out this little marina here. I'm gonna change those sailboats over to the ones without the sails in just a second. I think it just adds a little bit more to that hotel by actually having boats in the yard. And then um, I did want to add in a lighthouse. I thought that was a cool addition. Obviously, with all the boats coming in and out, you're going to want to make sure that they can actually see what it is that they are doing. 
um, so I did just pop that lighthouse in there and I think it just makes for some cool detailing too to be able to kind of draw it in and edit it and have the planters go around and then I did just make a little seating area for the hotel as well because you know people are gonna want to have a little outside place to hang out look over the water look over the marina and uh, you know definitely where you have this beautiful lighthouse I would want to hang out by the lighthouse too um, I do paint in the lighthouse with concrete, so I actually could go back and add some more benches around it, which might be something I'll do at a later date. Maybe like some viewing binoculars or something like that. That's some more detail to add. Um, so just, this is my thought process, guys. This is how I detail. It's more of a, like not a planned out thing. It's more, I start building spaces and I'm like, ooh, I could add a smattering of this or a smattering of that. You know, I think everyone's a little different. Some people really like to plan things out. Um, I certainly do that to a degree. Like for this build, I made sure I got assets for like the beach. I got assets for marinas. I got a lighthouse asset, things like that. So I plan out to that degree. But then while I'm building, um, sometimes I just kind of let inspiration take me and I'll be like, "Ooh, I can add this or I can throw that in and that would look good there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to speed up the time lapse just a little bit because we're going to do a little bit of landscaping. I actually cut the vast majority of the landscaping I did on this town out of this just because I know it does get a little bit of repetitive. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my landscaping process for San Pedro yet, I do a lot of undergrowth. So I have these wild flowers and weeds that I put down and then some bigger bushes. And then on top of those, I'll put down the trees. Um, but I think it works out really good for this kind of climate and this kind of environment having a lot of shrubbery and then some just a little bit of trees on top and uh, I think it ends up looking really nice once this is all filled in especially the amusement park I think it just hides some of that clipping we were talking about earlier and uh, you know just makes for a much better space so that is gonna just about do it for the landscaping we're gonna just do a quick jump cut to the other side of my landscaping bit here where I'm gonna throw in some trees down by those hotels and things like that um, and then from there we're gonna jump into some final details before we kind of round out the rest of the build so again just adding my undergrowth my big bushes and then my trees and trying to fill in as much space as I can and make it look nice I probably could thin it out a little bit too but we'll, we'll get around to that so Last couple of things we're gonna do. I did want to build an actual like beach area. I thought that would be nice. I wanted to have a good amount of parking for it too because it is gonna be quite the large beach once you see it. And my idea again, this is a tourist area. So I assume the beach is kind of a big draw for tourists. It's a reason why a lot of people stay in those hotels we just put down. So I wanted to make sure that this beach was nice and large to accommodate a good number of people and had parking for a good number of people. Obviously they can park in the other parking lot as well. So we'll put down these little restrooms, uh, the beach showers, just to kind of have a little hub for people to come through. I'm also gonna add some bungalows on the other side. And my idea for those is they're like a changing area for people to go through and get changed before they go onto the beach. Um, and you'll see me doing this a lot. I add dirt paths and also the um, dirt surface painter just to kind of show walking paths through the beach so that's where people have been walking through a lot so the sand looks a little bit different because it's been kicked up and stamped down by so many people that's the idea behind this um, in those planters I put down you are gonna see me start putting down some of those big palm trees again I do end up taking those out for the live play but not the cinematics uh, I think permanently I will not put them back I think it was just a little bit too much when I looked at it and I liked it better just having the straight grass and kind of being simple I think it just pops out too much being on uh, you know a dirt beach having that you know, those tall 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 plants um, at least that's in my eye if you guys think differently let me know um, and now we're gonna go through and start just decorating the beach. So we're gonna start out with an absolute buttload of towels. So I'm just placing them down haphazardly, just trying to fill in as much space as I possibly can. Um, some of the stuff I'm putting down is usable. So I'm gonna put down like some chairs and surfboards that Sims can actually go up and sit in and use, um, which I think will be nice to kind of make it look a little bit alive so it's not just a blank beach. Um, I definitely need to look into getting some like sim spawners. I know that's a thing that you can get where people will actually like walk through these things. So I do add pathways so hopefully some will walk through too. And again, like I'm only going to really notice it for while I'm building this space that there's not a ton of people or any people really in the beach. Um, but I think for the detail that we put in on the beach, it looks really nice. And, um, you know, I add some chairs, some 
umbrellas, inflatable tubes, beach balls, just a whole smattering of different props um, just to try to make it look a little more neat. I do regret using that many white umbrellas. I think that was a mistake. If I could go back and do something different, I would use more colored umbrellas just because I think they bleed into the sand a little bit too much so you don't notice it as much while you're scrolling around. So that might be a change that I make in the future. Um, I don't know, but I definitely, it was something that I noticed later on that I was like, oh, not great. So now we're just gonna add some details, uh, decals, excuse me, to the different bits of concrete. Um, we're gonna throw in another little pier on the beach itself. I thought, at first I didn't wanna do that, I just wanted to have it go from road to beach, but then I just thought another pier would look nice and having it up front and center is always nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and just throw in, same as last time, those trees and those planters real quick to make it look nice and good. And now to finish things out, we are adding some lighting. I really wanted this space to pop at nighttime. You'll see that in the live play in the cinematics. It really looks good at nighttime. It's really bright and vibrant. I love these lamps. I've used these lamps throughout San Pedro in a couple different places um, with the three orbs. I think they just look so good. And you can see a little bit what I'm talking about, how they just kind of make it pop at nighttime in this area. But that is just gonna about do it for this time lapse, guys. So I am gonna go ahead and let the music play you out the rest of the way. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the live play. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that build. I know we got a lot done. There was a lot going on there. So I wanted to just bring you through a little live play to break down what we made here today. So we'll start on the far left and kind of work our way to the right. So we just have a bunch of hotels over here with a little bit of like a, a shopping center plaza over here. So we have these fancy stores, which I repeat on the other side as well. This Panera, eventually I'm gonna build out some tables and put like, I wanna get some actual Panera umbrellas to put in here, but for now we're just leaving that empty. So we just have this little stuff. I just put this fireplace here cause that was on fire and I need to just plop it down. So ignore that please. And coming over here, I really like this like bay resort. Um, what is it called? It's called the Marina Bay. I thought that looked really nice. And then we have this other um, big hotel, it reminds me of a hotel I've been to up in uh, New Hampshire that is on the water that has like very much the same architecture and then these big piers which we filled in with some boats and stuff and so we have another little marina here so we have double the marina, double the fun and of course a nice lighthouse. These palm trees, I really like them up close although when you scroll out and you get a little back they turn into whatever that is so I'm not, not crazy about that it's not the best for cinematics and stuff but we're letting it go for now so we have this really cool really beautiful uh, lighthouse over here another hotel this is actually a casino and then another little shopping area and then our big old amusement park which I think just looks great like I said in the last episode when I was building the little space research center up here, I wanted to make a skyline for this town, but I didn't want to use buildings because it's not going to be that big. So I think the amusement park really did a good job there. And just to show you some of the more detail of the amusement park, there is some clipping that's going to happen when you're trying to work in this small of a space, but scrolled out you can't really even tell, so it's not a big deal. Got a nice little parking area here, but it is slowing up traffic. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. And then over here, we have our nice little area as well with some games and stuff. So it's not huge. It's not like a gigantic amusement park, but it gets the job done. And I think it just looks so nice with the pier and against you know the actual backdrop of the beach. And then of course we have our beach over here. So we got some parking for the beach going into a little like restroom area and then these I was kind of thinking these little bungalows were like changing so like men's and women's changing rooms and then just of course our beach with just a smattering of things put down hopefully people will start walking through this I did put some path paths through here um, if not I need to look into getting like some spawn things off the workshop but that is the build today guys so we got a lot done you can see in the back I did add some more houses and things to this area as well 
I did that off camera. Um, I do just want to show you this at night. We'll have some cinematics at night too, but I just think with all the lights we got going on and all the cool stuff we got going on, I think that's just a cool look, man. So this is technically our skyline for this area. We got, you know, the, the casino and the hotels and stuff over there, which are great. But then you got this nice lighthouse, of course, the beautiful research center in the background and this uh, cool amusement park in the fan or not the fans, the windmills, of course. But I think it's a pretty unique little town so far. And we're only halfway done. We're only halfway there. So we still got more to do in this town and uh, building things out going around this way. So we'll figure that out. I don't know if that'll be the next episode or what. Um, but if you guys did enjoy today's episode, definitely leave a like down below. I really appreciate that. Um, certainly check out my other stuff. Like I said in the last episode, I am going to be uh, out of commission for like four or five days. I will be getting eloped up in the mountains this weekend, so I'm getting married. So I'll be gone for a few days, but definitely check out my old stuff. I got some good videos in the backlog for you guys to look at, and uh, I'll be back next week and we'll make some cool stuff. But thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll jump into those cinematics now.